Good evening to each and every one of you. And uh, welcome to our program here on Inside Pickle. Tonight we're going to be discussing a very important subject. I think most of you are familiar whenever we talk about typhoon. Kasi alam ta na ang typhoon is one, sabi nga ni kang ibang uh, officials, uh, typhoon da ang uh, main uh, livelihood because when there's typhoon, there is calamity. But anyway, uh, we will be discussing tonight the latest Typhoon application, considered the most uh, innovative software application for uh, you know uh, uh, for smartphone and also tablet. I'm sure that a lot of the students there is familiar with uh, the topic that we'll be discussing. And our guest for tonight is uh, what we may say are expert in their own field, no? And sa tuya pong guest nun yan, iyo si Magno Idelberto Arconag. He's a faculty member of the Department of Digital Arts and uh, Computer, Animation. Computer Animation. So, pag-abot sa mga ibon yung mga cartoons, mga magayon yan, which is now very much in demand sa Russia expert. He teaches and he is also the president and CEO of the Nueva Cáceres Technology Solutions. No? So Magno is considered as an IT expert here in Bicol. Our other guest for tonight is David Michael Padua. I'm sure that a lot of you have heard, especially pag my typhoon, <laughs> ang pangalan na si Michael Padua because araw po na ang ibasendo Nagdadamog, nag, uh, they're watching also the website that uh, Michael has established. No, Michael is also connected with the Naga College Foundation, yung Typhoon Preparedness Center, and uh, he's what some people would say as the typhoon tracking analyst, you know, expert about the typhoon. I, uh, I'm sure that a lot of you have uh, benefited no, from just listening, just sa mga advice na Michael. So. Uh, let me now uh, introduce our guest. We have here Magno and uh, Mr. Padua. So, siguro, umpisan uh, uh, Oh, of course, before siguro you can greet our viewers. You know, we are now seen on the internet. Yeah. Kaya may mga viewers mang kita dyan sa overseas because they are watching us dyan sa internet. Aside, of course, from those watching sa local TV and also the Disa sa yang mga various cable uh, networks. So, we're glad that tinaan mo kami ng opportunity. So, welcome to our program here, uh, both of you, on Inside Bicol. Okay? Um, salamat po. Salamat din mga uh, makain na, just makain na banggi sa Indugabos. Uh, it's an honor to be uh, a guest once again here on GNN Channel 48. The server done, and uh, yung mga hindi pa sa akin na kita sa TV. Here I am. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, um. Ano po? Uh, first of all, thank you for the opportunity. It's actually my first time to be here at GNN. Okay. Um, so, salamat po sa oportunidad. Okay, so let's uh, keep the ball rolling. First is that, um, Michael, oh. pampira ng typhoon ang nag-visit sa Tue, especially dito sa Bicol. Muna. Sa Bicol, we have already uh, two. These are near misses. When we say near misses, just passing along the coast. Ito si Bebeng at Waning. Okay. So far, it caused uh, lots of flooding in uh, most parts of the Bicol region. Okay, how many typhoon more do you expect na based yan sa mga analysis mo? Pira pa daw na typhoon? Uh, based on the uh, climatic conditions, since we are going to uh, Little La Nina once again, mm -hmm. we might be seeing more or less uh, five. Five? Yeah. Despite the fact na almost uh, pa end ng yan. Do you yes. foresee na ang typhoon na maarabot? would be very, you know, strong typhoon? Anong typhoon? Historically speaking, uh, typhoons at the last quarter of the year are seemingly uh, destructive, mm -hmm. but some are also weak. But uh, let's hope 
none of this will be uh, will uh, damage our region but uh, and, uh, only God knows so uh, so far November is the highest frequency of visiting typhoons here in the Bicol region. Okay. Ma Michael, paano nag-uumpisya ng typhoon? Paano nag-develop yan? Well, uh, there are many factors involved here. First is the uh, sea surface temperature. Kailangan yung init ng dagat. At least uh, 26.5 degrees centigrade or higher. And then the depth of the yung lalim ng init ng dagat must be around 150 feet below. After that, it will produce a uh, moisture, heat moisture up to around uh, 2,000 to 5,000 feet above sea level. And with this uh, uh, energy source, ito yung parang gasolina ng bagyo. Uh, you already, uh, you can uh, say that uh, the sea surface temperature is conducive for development. So after that, you need uh, the meeting of trade winds yung uh, dalawang hangin habagat ang amihan ang tawag po natin dyan these are known as the uh, intertropical convergence zone so uh, these are uh, uh, one of the ingredients of uh, developing systems so uh, let's go back to uh, the uh, what you're asking about the what are these depressions, storms, typhoons? These are classifications. Some call it, call it, call it types of tropical uh, cyclones. Kasi ang tawag po natin dyan, these systems are known as generally as tropical cyclones. Uh, these are uh, the generic term of uh, this uh, uh, rat of nature that affects our lives. So. Uh, these uh, tropical cyclones are divided into categories based on this on their wind stand, namely tropical depression, which is the weak the weakest uh, type, with winds of up to uh, 61 kilometers per hour, 45 to 61. Then from 62 up to 117 kph, this will be now known as tropical storms. And from 118 up, uh, it's now to be known as typhoons. And if uh, the uh, if we use the uh, U.S. Joint Typhoon Warning Center of uh, uh, naming the highest uh, strength of a tropical cyclone, this will be known as super typhoon. Uh, ang wind speed po niya is from 240 pataas. So these are uh, classifications of okay. tropical cyclone. Now, uh, of course, all of this uh, now we are able to appreciate more, to understand more because of the introduction of uh, new technology you know? yeah. and that is where I understand C. Magno is an expert being an expert on IT, no? Tell us more uh, Magno, no? Anong inaapod na information technology? Actually po, ano yan eh? Very vague na yan, uh, ko yan. But when I was in college, we talk about the word IT. Ribong pangani ka to because ikaw pang inaapod na IH, okay. uh, Information Highway. But then again, um, nagbabari ang definition habang naghahaloy. Uh, as you see, before may maning mga iPad, may naman lang baga na uso. But basically, if we talk about IT, it's already a broad uh, broad term we use for just about any innovation that you see around us. It also includes halos iyan ang gabos na convergence kang man iba-ibang technology solutions and hardware, software that are put together Ang kagayunan kay mo niyan is medyo magi mas nagiging useful na sa tao ang application kay ning mga innovations na ini. Now, a lot of people know, in fact, even the students, uh, when they talk about IT, the first thing that comes to their mind right now is internet connection, di ba? IT nga yan, yaro araw ba yan, ano? So, uh, I guess that uh, with the information technology, with the internet, uh, it has a lot got to do also with the improvement of, you know, access to information. Anong assessment mo nyan ang tungkol dyan sa internet access, big business sa Bicol? How do you assess it? Sa Bicol po, just like any other places, grabe ng pinagbago. Ang availability kang internet is mas sa dakula ng lugar. Dati, masakit magkaigaw ang internet sa mga outside cities. But mo nyan, basically, kadakol iguanan ng mga internet access. So, 
iyan ang iyan ang saro sa magayong na magayong na barita nagdakula na si Saindang coverage ang um, saro pang magayong na barita is medyo nagbarato na significantly ang cost kang data or cost kang bandwidth <coughs> before you have to pay your telco mga 2,500 minsan 5,000 pa just to get unlimited internet but when yan as low as 999 may unlimited internet ka na in fact may bago pa sa dyan scheme na inaapod na per bandwidth ang pinakabaratong aram ko ngunyan is 99 pesos may 50 megabytes ka na ng bandwidth good for 30 days bahala ka na kung paano mo siya imamanage as long as ang maximum is 50 megabytes pero despite all this nang, nang coverage nagdakula ng availability dakula, oh, dakula naman ang presyo nagbabarato may dakula pang kaipuhan improve ini uh, regarding sa reliability kang, um, kang reception, kang data for example uh, halina na sa mga bareta na they say this place is a 3G territory it's a, it's a 3G enabled area but you will observe from your handset that the signal fluctuates from 3G it goes down to edge and then suddenly it goes down to GPRS and then nabalik sa mora and then it fluctuates back and forth tapos few meters away lang nalakaw mo down na naman si 3G so it affects the quality of connectivity um, what does that mean? it means na nakaskas na luya nakaskas na luya very unpredictable itong data ang nag-aabot sa imong cellphone or iPad or, or or whatever device ang ginagamit mo Okay, so uh, there are several ways of uh, accessing to internet. Diba? You have the Wi Fi, you have also the landline, uh, and then you can even have it on the satellite. Diba? These are uh, uh, ways of uh, connecting to the internet. Uh, of course, uh, uh, with the you know uh, advent of the internet, also with the satellite, it has really improved yung sabi ng technology. And I understand that you have some collaboration, Typhoon expert, IT expert, and you are able to develop the latest Typhoon application, considered the most innovative, no, uh, for uh, ty software, no. So, so, siguro, I'm sure that uh, a lot of people would like to know more about this. So, when we return, we will be talking about the software that you have uh, just introduced. So. Uh, stay uh, for a while, I mean, you know, uh, uh, just stay put there and then we'll know more about the latest software.